Hi, my name is Boris and in this tutorial I'm about to show you how to synthesize a clap in Ableton's native synth operator. In fact, uh, here's a drum rack which uh, consists of four elements uh, which are all made in operator and modeled after the famous Roland 909 drum machine. And this drum rack is available as a free download in the description. Grab it for yourself, try it out and see if it can work in your track. So here's what it sounds like. Kick, hi-hat, can make it an open hi-hat, a clap, and a snare. And today we are only going to talk about this clap and synthesize it from scratch. So what's so awesome about having synthesizers instead of just samples in a drum rack is that you have a lot more control over the sound's characteristics. For example, uh, you can stretch this uh, clap in time, unlike you could do with, uh, with the sample. So you can make it faster or slower. And uh, you can tweak the release and all sorts of other parameters. So this is a really awesome way of making your own drum hits, not relying on samples, but making something yourself from scratch. And you have even these super nice macros in this rack, which you can use to quickly come up with a new sample instead of tweaking. You can just hit randomize and you have a new clap. So basically making a clap with this drum rack is as easy as hitting randomize a few times and just picking what you like. But in this tutorial we are only going to talk about this clap, not the other elements, and we will make it from scratch. So hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to make all sorts of your own claps. Before we get into the details, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. We've got a lot more coming up and keep an eye on the channel because we're going to also be posting how to make all the other elements from this drum rack. Okay, so let's quickly open up this instrument rack and copy this operator instance onto a new MIDI track and we are going to be dissecting what is going on here. And let's quickly go over the basics of synthesis in operator. So operator is an FM synth which functions a little bit like the Yamaha DX7, only that it is much simplified and has only four operators. And uh, we've got all these sections here, A, B, C and D, and these are separate oscillators uh, which can generate different types of sounds. Operator is really nice for making drum sounds because it has the most oscillators out of all of the Ableton synths, but you can use any other Ableton synth for this because you can always stack multiple instances of a synthesizer on top of one another and layer stuff in this way. But we are only going to be using this one instance of operator and we are actually going to be using only white noise for this hi-hat. The other type of oscillator would be the sine wave for this kind of drum heads, but we are only going to use the white noise. Okay, so let's quickly go over what's going on here. We have four oscillators which are playing one after another, very short bursts of sound, and we are actually going to need this note length MIDI effect in order to limit the length of our MIDI notes so that our sound doesn't go on forever. This is uh, sound number one, now two, three, and four. So the sound number four has also a decay that allows uh, us to have a bit of a tail after the first three hits. But let's start from scratch completely. I'm going to drop a brand new instance of operator and let's just change this waveform to white noise. The loop mode to trigger, this is the mode for drum sounds and uh, let's keep the decay very short around 30 milliseconds and let's bring down the sustain all the way. So let's start by changing the waveform to white noise on oscillator A. Let's disable the filter for now and we are going to use the amp envelope here with the sustain all the way down and a very short decay around 30 milliseconds. 
this should be very sharp and very short and we are basically going to repeat this process for oscillator b but we need these oscillators to be playing in parallel mode instead of modulating each other so let's select the last routing option over here let's go to b increase that and we also need to choose noise wide but this time we need to choose an attack of 10 milliseconds to delay the sound a bit and we need to decrease the peak so we are having 10 milliseconds of delay here let's uh, bring down the decay all the way here and uh, let's bring up the sustain and let's have 30 milliseconds of release but right now the sound is going to go on forever playing white noise so we want to drop a note length midi effect which is going to limit the length of this midi note that we are playing so note length let's bring it down to around 32 milliseconds and we can now continue with the rest of our oscillators. Just a quick break before we go back to the tutorial. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses, spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish. So check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses bundle exactly. We can actually copy the same settings to oscillator C, but we are just going to add a little bit more delay here. 20 more seconds of attack this time, uh, sustain all the way up, but the peak is all the way down, decay also all the way down, and the release is going to be also 30 milliseconds. And let's bring it up. And let's turn on oscillator D also white noise also 30 milliseconds of attack with peak all the way down as well as the decay and we want 330 milliseconds of release and that's about it for the basic uh, sound now an important element of it is the filter and actually we're going to be using the bandpass filter with the 12 db per octave setting and a lot of power comes from the resonance as well so here's what it sounds like and we want to enable the shaping and let's turn on the filter drive to osr and increase it we can actually make it louder and as you can hear we already have a clap you can always add some stereo spread you can also add uh, change the timing and we can actually add some audio effects on top of that so for example let's just copy this eq8 so we are adding a high pass filter here now we have a really nice clap which has cleaned up low end and that's it we can now group it and map a bunch of parameters from here to uh, the macros by going to map and for example mapping uh, the spread and the timing as well as the frequency of this and the frequency of the filter and we have a really cool instrument track with a clap and this was really simple, really fast to do, and you can make your own claps really easily by following this method and just using different parameters. If you'd like to use randomization here, you can also uh, narrow down the macros here uh, so that you are not left with some extreme timings or some extreme frequency ranges. And this way you'll be able to basically hit randomize a few times and just play around that way. And we could actually also increase the gain here on this high shelf and you also might want to map this to another macro thank you guys very much for watching make sure to grab this drum rack for free from the link in the description and make sure to check out our music production academy we've got a lot of start to finish courses for both beginners and more advanced producers subscribe and hit the notification bell they can comment if you like this video and i will see you in the next ones